Hey, what's up, gang? Ken here from the Retro Toyscapades channel. So here we are, finally. The last offering from Caltex Malaysia as part of their 80 years of the bat celebration series. This is the 1966 Batmobile. So let's get this guy cracked open. Now, I have to say that the 1966 TV series Batmobile here is likely the Batman car that I have the least affinity with. Probably because, you know, I had the least exposure to it when I was growing up. Now the series aired on TV a full 10 years before I was even born. But I do remember some episodes of it playing as television reruns when I was a kid. But I never really found myself fully invested in it. But looking back now, I will say that a lot of the costume and set effects were ahead of their time, and the series is definitely worth revisiting. Now this is the first live-action Batmobile that pop culture ever got. The detailing on this Caltex Batmobile is actually pretty good, although it's super light and feels the flimsiest among the four. You see, watch me shaking it about and you can hear it rattling. But it's also the most striking because while the other three were mostly a flat grey or black in their overall colour tone, with this one, you get a lot of red thrown in to make the sculpt stand out. And it's the only one of the four to have a bat symbol on the vehicle itself, and this is a very nice touch. Now you get clear plastic with the front and back windshield, and grey coloured paint on the exhaust pipes and the afterburner. So that's pretty cool. Now, I have to say that looking at this thing, you know, where the thing really falls flat is the undercarriage, which has the least detail among all the vehicles so far. But you do get the Caltex logo that tells you that this is an exclusive. Now, since this Batmobile has an open roof concept, this is the only one from the series that we get to see the interior of. And we see that Batman has car seats, just like a regular driver would at least a regular driver from the 1960s and if you have a really micro-sized figure set you might be able to fit one of them behind the wheel now also cool is the fact that you get to see the steering wheel and well yeah while it's the most normal looking steering wheel that you'll probably ever see it sure is nostalgic though and you also get some really nice detailing on the dashboard area so they actually went to some trouble here to show you the insides Oh, and in case you were wondering, guys, the steering wheel, it doesn't turn. Okay, the, just like the other Batmobiles in the series, this one has pullback and go action. Let's check it out. Now one thing about the open roof concept of this Batmobile that always got me wondering, how does Batman protect his head from being shot off by any one of his enemies? I mean, the front and back windshield may have Kevlar or bulletproof, but the top sure doesn't. Also, since this thing is so exposed, how does he protect it when it's parked somewhere and he's off fighting crime? You know, what's to stop someone from just walking by and just pouring a cup of coffee on the dashboard and controls. I guess Batman gets by on just pure blind luck. Unless you believe the theory that Batman's enemies will secretly never go all out to really kill him. Ultimately, they still need him alive as a counterpart to their madness and diabolical plans. I will say this though, this is definitely the most normal looking Batmobile ever. Like the Tumblr or the Batman vs Superman Batmobile, you know, you might want to call in the military for help if you saw those things cruising down the highway. But something like this, you know, it could pass off for a car that you might see on the road even today. Okay, so hey, we've got all the Caltex Batmobiles lined up. Oh yeah, and don't they just look great? Now what's interesting is the fact that all the packaging boxes for these cars are cut differently.
For instance, let's put the BBS Batmobile and the Tumblr side by side. You see that the Tumblr is definitely the widest. But against the BBS Batmobile, you see that that one has a longer packaging box. Even the 1989 and the 1966 Batmobiles have different packaging sizes. You know, they seem like the same size in the box, but take a look here and you can see this gap where there's a difference in between the packages. Well, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys will leave me a like and a comment and share this thing out. And definitely support the channel by subscribing. Subscribing is of course free and all you have to do is hit that red button below to be notified every time we upload new content to the channel. Thanks for the support and I'll see you guys again real soon.